Hey everyone, welcome to Moon 12216 Reviews. If you hear any noises in the background, I do have a heater running because it's been getting really cold. And you may hear water because I have a fish tank down here now. Um, this is my Splenda Zero Sweetener that I was telling you guys a while back that I would do a video for once I got it, but I forgot to do a video. Um, this was from CrowdTap. It was just a little sample thing. If you don't know what CrowdTap is and how it works, I will link it in the description and you guys can check it out for yourselves. Um, this is a Splenda Zero Squeeze a Little Sweet into your day. This is supposed to be a zero carb, zero sugar, zero calories. And it's supposed to be like take on the go. Like you can make a cup of tea on the on the go or go to a restaurant order tea and put your own sweetener in it. Splenda Zero is a great way to sweeten your drink without all the added sugar. Um, now first off this thing was really hard to squeeze. This is empty and you see this? This is empty right now. And you, you see that? I had to use both hands to squeeze this thing. I would not go out the store and buy these for multiple reasons. One thing, if I can barely squeeze it, yeah, you see that? And you may hear a pup because she's being a, my, a pain in my butt. Well, any of it. This is actually empty. And it's not easy for me to squeeze with one hand. I like something I can easily squeeze with one hand. Um, I tried tea with this. I tried some other stuff. And lemonade, I think. Not lemonade, did I? Yeah, I tried a cup of lemonade, a cup of tea. Um, I just did not like this. It's just, I prefer using um, regular sugar. It comes in a bag. It tastes... I don't know, I guess because I'm used to that taste, I don't like the Splenda Zero. The Splenda Zero kind of leaves like a taste on your tongue. It's like it kind of coats it or something, and it's just not something I like at all. Um, so I did receive that, and I wanted to show you guys this little bag I got in the mail. This is um, a CoverGirl, CoverGirl clean bag. I got this free. I don't remember from where, but it was not something I was supposed to review. And let me see if I can open it here. I haven't used any of these products. And I'm very sorry if you hear a puppy. <laughs> okay, so this came with three items. All CoverGirl. I haven't opened none of these. This is a nail polish. The color is called, I don't know what the color is, we can't get it to, this is CoverGirl Outlast, Stay Brilliant, it's nail gloss, oh, there's the color, I think, it's called Teal on Fire, it's made in France. As you can tell, it does have some glitter in it. And I also have um, this CoverGirl Clean BB Cream. It's a matte BB Cream. I've tried something similar to this, and I hope this ain't the same thing, because the other bottle I tried was not even worth the money. But this was all free, so it's something worth trying. And this is called a Smoochies Lipstick. It's CoverGirl. And it is in the color... Alter Ego 560. I have 
I've never tried smoochies. I've, um, I don't really wear hardly any nail polish anymore. So it may be a while before I even open that. Um, the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I have tried, um, some kind of liquid CoverGirl makeup before and I did not like it. It might have been a BB cream. This is in the light shade 520. This is for oily skin. But it's a nice little thing because I got the, the bag and the three CoverGirl makeup items. So at least I got something, you know, like the, the smoochies. I've never tried smoochies lipsticks from CoverGirl. Um, like I said, I don't wear much nail polish. So, you know, it's a pretty color. It's just I don't hardly wear nail polish. I mean, it's a great way to try new things. And I got a little makeup bag now. It does feel a little cheap made, but you know, what do you, you know, what can I expect? It's free. It was free. It didn't cost me nothing. You know, it was nicer than to send it. I don't have to review this stuff. It was just a little freebie thing. Um, I haven't really been doing much videos lately because I've been very busy. Um, I've been having to replace some of my fish tanks equipment because... The heater broke, and then I brought a new heater, and then it ended up breaking. So I had to get a different kind of um, heater. I had to get some kind of, um, oh, some kind of heater. It's like thicker glass, and it's supposed to be a better brand. I think I was just using a brand that wasn't any count for heaters. So I've been busy replacing all that stuff. And then I had to do some other... I had to go out of town for a little while, so I've been really busy. I'm hoping to do a Walmart haul for you guys. I'm just trying to get enough gift cards saved up. With the holidays and things, I'm wanting to check out the gift sets. You know, like where you get like um, a razor and it comes with shaving cream and maybe a lotion. stuff. You know, things like that I want to check out. It's just, I don't know if I'll have the funds to 